So in this video we're going to have a review of the Ansel FX9000 OBD tool and quite excited about this because, because for most of my career I've only really used the OEM tools. Um, now OBD Zone reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a review of this. So I did get a choice of which unit I could review for them. Um, I did consider doing the Ansel X7, that's the it's the tablet style unit with the wireless uh, dongle. Um, the other one I looked at was the Foxwell NT644. However, that one didn't have a touchscreen. Um, when I reached out to them and asked them, um, they did say that this one was the most professional, uh, had the most features and the most vehicles to connect to. So we went for this one. So I went through the ordering process myself on OBD Zone and uh, got to say it was really good, really fast delivery. From the looks of it, they've got some distribution hubs uh, throughout the world, uh, so they can pretty much get anything to you pretty quickly. Um, if you mention Mechanic Mindset in the notes when ordering, you'll get free express delivery. Furthermore, we've got a coupon code down in the description below uh, to get a further discount off. However, if you do feel more comfortable buying your tools off Amazon, for example, they do have a store on there as well. And again, I'll link everything below. So the unit itself comes in this nice kind of, uh, it's a hardish kind of box. I think it'd fare up all right sharing a drawer with your hammers. You get the OBD cable and a USB charging cable. So it's battery powered. Of course you get the unit itself in here and this is a quite a nice size unit it's got the buttons on the side there in case you've got like dirty hands or whatever and the thing i did like about this is that it's a, a touch screen unit so it's quite useful on the top here we've got the power button we've got the connection for the obd port and we've also got the charge port there's a handy little hook on the back i see a lot of people like to hang this on the steering wheel really useful little uh, addition there so when you turn the unit on, it has actually got a demo mode on there. So on that demo mode, you can simulate it doing a fault code read and actually go in there and interrogate the fault memory and see what it looks like. Um, another good little feature of the demo mode is you can go in and have a look at the live data and it's actually simulating a change in those parameters. So you can have a look at the graphical display and actually seeing that change in on the screen. So one thing with the Ansel uh, equipment is it does have a subscription I don't think it was a lot of money for an annual subscription and I th think you get one year free when you get the unit after I turned this one on I went into the updates and there were plenty of updates there for me to do and I just selected that left it for 10 minutes and came back it was it was all done straightforward so if you hit the reset function you can go in there and you've got all your parameter resets in there so oil service reset brake pad warning light reset um, DPF regeneration, injector codes, steering angle sensor, gear adapt hit, gear adaption relearn. There's quite a lot on there. It's pretty good. You've also got the OBD and IM, so they're for your kind of OBD readiness monitors. You've got a basic settings menu there. Um, quite good. You've got a screen capture function, so you can take screenshots and then send them on for uh, interrogation if needed. And then in the data tab, you can see all your historic reports. There's also a feedback function. So if you do have any issues with it, you can take a screenshot, go onto the feedback function, tell them the report that you were having the problems with, and then they can look into it for you. The upgrade buttons where you go for the software updates. And there's also an option to quickly read the battery voltage via the OBD cable. So let's see how it does on a real car. So I went down to my car, disconnected the air mass meter, the air quality sensor and I also disconnected the airbag connector under the passenger seat. So we installed a few faults on there to see how it would handle it. When I first connected it up to the car, it told me that we needed to update the firmware. Uh, again, that only took about 30 seconds. As soon as that was finished, it automatically attempted to read the VIN. So that's another good feature of this unit. It's got auto VIN read. Also great to see it picked up my VIN and you can see there it's picked up the car. BMW 320 diesel. So I was quite interested to see how long it would take to do a fault code read. And I was actually really shocked at how quick it was. From my experience of using OEM tools, it's usually a minute before you, you can get like a full readout from all the control units. However, this was done in seconds, it's pretty good. 
So looking at all the engine fault codes there, we can see it's picked up the air mass and air temperature fault codes. There's also a few others stored in there. And if you go in and select the fault code, you can also see if there's any extra data in there. By the look of it, when you hit the help key, that's the data that's stored by Ansel. So if they haven't put any data in there, nothing will come up. However, there's another really handy function on there. If you hit the search function, it will automatically search the fault code on Google with the manufacturer name in front of it. However, always beware of Google Diagnostics. You never know what you're going to get, really. So we can also see here and uh, look at some live data. So if we have a look at the fuel pressure readings there, uh, we can also see them graphical. If we just rev the engine up, we can see them change all really good. OK, so we can see the fault there for the AUC sensor. That's really good that it's picked that up. I think that's always been a long time difficulty is to get a cheap OBD scanner that will actually pick up control units other than the ones that are on the OBD line. So, for example, the engine control unit. And we can see that it's actually picked up all the control modules on the car. We can also read parameters out of the body control module. So we go in here and have a look at the, we can have a look at the status of the window up and down hall sensors. And we can also see the status of the door latches. We can also look here at the airbag fault. So I've disconnected the passenger seat, so there's plenty of problems going to come up there. So seat belt connection, occupancy detector, and the side airbag. So full marks in that department. So let's reconnect up our sensors and see how it handles the fault code clearing. So if we just hit clear codes here, you can see that it's not as fast as the code reading, but it still doesn't take long. And after going back into the car and reading the fault codes again, we can see they're all clear, except I've got one code still hanging over. I'll look at that another day. So we haven't done much OBD diagnostics and fault code interrogation on the channel before. So if you want to see more of that, just give the video a like and that will let me know. In all honesty, it looks like there's plenty of functions to get into on this Ansel FX9000 and I haven't got time to go through them all now. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed with that. You know, uh, using my codes, you'll be able to get that for around $360 directly from the OBD Zone store. And I'll be definitely using this more in my videos in the future.